Hey bases, this is going to be a quick how-to video for the two octave C major scale. This is in your Essential Elements book three, so please make sure you put this PDF in your PS score. It's on page 18 and it's song number 106. This would be so much easier for me to demonstrate if I had a bass in my house, but the only bass I have does not have a bridge on it, so I'm going to do the best that I can on my cello. Hopefully I'll get that bass fixed soon. Um, so taking a look, it would might really help you to use your pen tool and PS score to write some of the fingerings in for this because that's a little bit confusing unless you're really comfortable in half position. Um, you'll notice it starts on the A string with four in half position, then it goes to open D and then all of a sudden it skips down to open E. A lot of the two octave scales in this book um, actually do what we call splitting the octave. So if we, they want you to start on the lowest possible C on your instrument, which is on the A string. And if we started here and we just kept going up and up and up and up, by the end, you would have to do a lot of shifting. So what they have you do is start on the lowest possible note and then eventually skip down to the E string. So you can go up from there and the shifting is a little bit more reasonable. It does make it slightly more confusing, but if you write in your fingerings, it should be a little bit easier. We're starting in half position because of this note right here. This F natural on the E string has to be in half position. So if we're playing um, first finger in first position, that's F sharp, we need to make sure that we scoot it back into half position for F natural. And then the G after it will be fourth finger. We normally play G with two, but don't forget any finger that was two in first position, in half position it's four. So the beginning of this, I've got my hand in half position. I have open C on the A, or fourth finger C on the A string. Then I'm gonna play open D. Then I'm gonna scoop over to open E and then play one for F and four for G. Then I can keep going up the scale in half position. I just have to remember that um, on the A string, I'm gonna play two for B. If I play first finger, it's gonna be B flat and then four for C. D string, two for E, Otherwise you're playing E flat and then four for F. You have another option if you want to, if you really don't like playing in half position for that long, you could shift to first position. And where I would shift back would be um, during our open A right here. So after I play on the E string, while I'm playing open A, I'm gonna move my hand forward so that I can play one and two on the A string. And then again, one and two on the D string. So it's your choice. It adds an extra shift in there, but if you're more comfortable in first position, um, that's fine. Over here, we're gonna be shifting to second position. So if you are in half position, you're playing your A with two right here. Um, if you're in first position, you're playing it with your first finger. Regardless, your B right here, where fourth finger would normally go if you're in first, that's where your second finger is gonna go. So if I'm in first position, I've got my A with first finger. My B would normally be here. I'm gonna slide up and put my two right there. If I'm in half position, I'm on two, same thing. I'm gonna slide up and put my two where my B would go. If you still have a fourth finger tape on your bass, just put your two on that note. Not first finger, but second finger. And then the note after that is C, which we'll play with our fourth finger. The reason we're shifting to second finger instead of first finger is just because that's a waste of a shift. So we don't have to shift all the way there because we're gonna end on our two. It's a little more efficient to only go to second finger and end on our four. On the way back down, again, your choice. So we're gonna play our four for C, two for B, and then we can shift back and play first finger and go to first position. Um, or if you wanna do the rest of the scale in half position, if you did that on the way up, then you shift back to two. Make sure that you're using four and two, and then on the A string, four and two, and then on the E string, four and one. Um, then we're gonna have that octave skip where we go from E up to C, or up to D, and then our first finger, or second finger, fourth finger for C. Sorry, I got a little confused. Um, if you get confused, make sure you write your finger numbers in. All right, I'm gonna play this for you and I'm gonna be using cello fingerings. And unfortunately, I can't skip the octave on cello, so it's just gonna sound like it goes straight up. Um, so make sure that you, you're just using that to make sure your notes are in tune, um, but be really careful with your fingerings. All right, here we go from the beginning. Also watch out, we got quarter notes and some half notes. Ready, set, go.
sense. I really wish I had a base to be able to just show you all the shifting um, and play it correctly. Good luck and please make sure that you write your fingerings in if you need to and make sure you're playing F natural and C natural. Have fun practicing.